British Columbia College of Management, BCCM, a flight for your dreams. We have Major Aarti Tiwari with us, who will be sharing her expertise on trades in the market. We also have a special guest from Canadian Immigration founder and co-founder of Can Pathways, Miss Harpreet Kaur and Mr. Sham Pathak. And we will be asking some questions as the session proceeds. The correct answer can help you to win the grand prize. Till then, stay with us. I'm sure that you all will feel enriched with knowledge after completion of this event. I welcome you all once again to the webinar and hope that you all will have a great time ahead. We are extremely honored to welcome you all as a panelist to our webinar, BCCM, your key to unlock the Canadian dream. So now, I would like to invite Mr. Jedi Chakravarti, COO BCCM, as our first panelist for today's session. Mr. Chakravarti carries rich experience for more than 35 years with ITC, Obroy, and Redison Hotels. Over to you, Jedi, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the webinar. I hope it's going to be an enriching session for everyone. So, uh, we're going to spend some quality time in terms of telling you. Uh, what's happening in the industry and also the opportunities that exist today and uh, how BCCM can bring to the, you know, to the forefront these advantages in terms of a career path for new kids. I'd like to begin with a small uh, phrase which actually was uh, mentioned by somebody, I'm not too sure it was, talked about every crisis creates an opportunity. We've seen that across, you know, different crises and COVID has been no exception. COVID actually affected uh, the entire industry, the hospitality industry, the tourism industry very, very badly, where, you know, because of social distancing and also because of lockdowns, lack of travel, the entire industry went through a bad, you know, bad period. So what I was trying to say is that, you know, today when the, when the industry is, uh, when things are normalized more or less and, uh, you know, things are rebounding back, the demand for hospitality has increased tremendously. Uh, People who actually, uh, you know, are finding uh, the more and more hotels opening up and the existing hotels are actually short-staffed. A lot of people had migrated out. So the demand for manpower has increased considerably. So this is a trend which has happened not only in India, it's happened everywhere all across the board. So what it does is it creates two or three benefits for new people joining in. First and foremost, what happens is people get an entry at a much higher salary level because compensations have increased. Second, what it does is, in, in case, you know, if you've got your fundamentals right and you perform well, you can get into a fast career path because opportunities exist. And because of lack of manpower, anybody has been, you know, if you're good, then you get opportunities and you move along. And the third thing that really happens is that, you know, you get access to an international platform. During our time, when we started our career, it was almost unthinkable for us to, you know, visualize and say, okay, we're going to, you know, start our careers internationally. For us, it was the hard way around where we had to work a few years here and then think in terms of the next steps. Today, uh, you know, because of the fact that there is a dearth of manpower across the globe, uh, a lot of countries, including that Canada, you know, has opened up and uh, it's now possible for people to go there, complete their education, get a work permit, get a, get a job, work there, and then, of course, get a permanent residency. This is actually a dream that everybody has, you know, in terms of why do people want to study? Why do people want a career? It's basically because they want a better lifestyle and a better quality of life. And I think the hospitality today creates that opportunity. But anyway, coming down to the trends, besides the fact that, you know, you have the opportunities in terms of a fast career path, there are interesting breakthrough aspects that have happened. First and foremost, there is employment of technology. Technology is now appearing across all different platforms in the in the industry from, uh, you know, because of the COVID aspect, there's a touchless and, uh, you know, seamless electronic form of uh, communication that started. It, it happens to, you know, your mobile phone, you can use your QR codes in restaurants, you can use, uh, you know, apps which are specially designed on the mobile phones to create your bookings, to get confirmations, etc. Today, you know, most hotels are employing things like digital voice assistants in the room where, you know, you don't have to actually physically press a button in terms of television or whatever. It's a bit like Alexa or whatever that you people have experienced in the past. So that's another technology that's coming in. Mobile apps, I already talked about. Um, there are a lot of mobile apps and specifically hotels have created, which creates an enriching experience uh, for a guest. The reason is, you know, when you're traveling, you know, you're usually getting off on a flight, going to a new destination, a new hotel. And if you're on a mobile, then you, it's easy for you to not only locate the hotel, 
to actually check in when you're sitting in the car and you just you walk into the hotel just show your id or in fact you can even send your id by whatsapp to receptionist and go straight to the room and your mobile and your and your key uh, you know is is programmed in your mobile itself because it, they give you the access code so it's very interesting and uh, you know it it makes it touchless and seamless and fast i talked about qr codes qr codes are being employed uh, in a, in a very big way uh, you know they are they are all over the place for restaurant menus for check ins etc etc and they also for downloading material the other very interesting thing that's happening is uh, you know in terms of hotel design spaces are becoming flexible multifunctional spaces you know uh, so you know you uh, because you know you want to maintain social distances so you know you have less furniture in the lobby a lot of people to move around a lot of room to move around uh, and of course flexibility that you know in, in terms of you know joining some light furniture here and there and then sitting down and you know having a meeting etc etc staycations is another very interesting thing that's happened now because of uh, working from home uh, so people tend to go on vacations where they stay in these places for a longer period of time they tend to work from these locations cleanliness is a major major aspect that has in fact been the forefront after covid and uh, new technologies again come here in the form of uh, you know ion uh, you know ionizers and in terms of air filters and also in the form of ultraviolet uh, you know room treatment the ultraviolet room treatment is the latest that's come in where uh, you know you have this robot which is actually pushed into the room and it 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 stays and it switches on ultraviolet light for about 15 or 20 seconds and it it sanitizes everything right from your bed uh, to your curtains to your you know everything including the bathroom the other thing which people are now talking about is because of the global warming and the uh, different things that is happening now people are worried about the sustainability part of it so you know sustainability is another very very important aspect where people are talking in terms of uh, conserving water conserving electricity conserving you know anything there is a resource uh doing better treatment of uh, disposable matter which is like your uh, garbage etc etc fitness is another area which is becoming of prime focus and because of fitness not only are we talking about gyms etc and yoga etc etc but also you know a new stream uh, which earlier was lying dormant uh, that is your wellness uh, tourism so anyway so uh, uh, so these are the various trends that are happening and besides the fact that remote work is also uh, you know going to be here to stay what is interesting is that today bccm has uh, has a curriculum which is which is which has been designed by hospitality professionals looks at all these trends and customizes the education module to actually take people down the shop floor and get them to experience this so you know you would typically not only get the necessary inputs from us uh you know in terms of uh, the theory etc etc and the standard operating procedures that have been adopted now across the line but also you know you would get exposure by working in different hotels during the course of this program where you'll see all of the all of this being put into practice so anyway coming down to the uh, the crux of it uh, the other aspect which i mentioned was uh, you know talk get fast tracking your career so you know the biggest advantage today we have is with the dearth of manpower you are in a position now to join you know a course here do the foundation course and uh, you know complete the education in canada bccm has a program like that and as we go along you'll get to know more about it so uh, we we really hope that uh, you know you will you'll sort of be aware in terms of not only the opportunities but also what you need to do now to encash that opportunity so wishing you all the best and uh, putting you back to uh, Sony, I think, who's coordinating it. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind thoughts. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Ashish Arora, Board of Directors, BCCM, who carries more than three decades of experience and has become synonymous with the hospitality industry. He holds degrees from world-renowned colleges, University of Oxford and Cornell University. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, it's pretty late for me here and back in Canada, 11.30 in the night, probably it's quarter to 12 almost. So pardon me if I if you feel that I'm sleepy a little bit. Um, well, I don't know what, who is my audience right now. I think uh, a lot of students is our audience right now, right? If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Yeah. Um, 
uh, students uh, you know i i am actually supposed to talk about uh, how the life in canada is and how how you guys can succeed here and things i'm going to slightly touch a little go back 34 years when i was a student 34 years back and how life changed for me jadeep just touched a very important aspects of uh, you know how people have moved and immigrated to different parts of the world and how it was difficult for a lot of hoteliers way back uh, you know when they were planning to get back to the industry and uh, they were not decisive of what they wanted to do in life i remember when i was 16 i went to university of west london way back to england at that time i'm talking back way back in 1988 and uh, things were not easy at that time and i completely agreed with jadeep when he says that you know it is it has become so easy for you guys right now to come to canada or different parts of the world wherever you know you guys decide that you want to go and i will again touch one aspect why why i became a board of director and why uh, deepak and i go a long way back uh, mr jha and i have been friends for a long time and when he proposed this whole idea to me i think uh, i didn't even blink my eyes and i just came on board straight away i think uh, canadian dream is 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 not a dream and when I, i think a lot of people in canada especially from the north side their families are there and they must be telling them the stories and everything bccm is not an institute it is not a college it is not something which every student can imagine to be dreamt of it is not a dream which we are trying people to make it live what we are trying to do here is create hoteliers create professionals who can actually be a legacy to our college in india who can be accommodated in different parts of the world and especially canada i'll give you my brief introduction you know when i came to canada i started working with couple of hotels and i you know i was fortunate enough to be now the managing director and the managing partner for about 14 hotels in canada i also run couple of dealerships we are into different parts of you know different things and everything we do a lot of stuff but hotels was always my core passion bccm is going to create the younger generation to be one of those finest hoteliers we are looking in canada if you imagine a population of delhi and anoida itself will give you about 35 million people and here in canada we are only about 32 million people i'm talking about the whole canada we 100% require our professionals we require a lot of hoteliers we require not only in you know i live in a part uh, where it's alberta is where sometimes it's minus 45 degrees and it's freezing cold to even walk out and i understand the life is very difficult but it's been it's been a beautiful journey for me what i'm trying to tell you guys as a as a younger generation who's stepping into the hospitality industry hotels is one part of you know if you understand hotels hotels is just not something which is glamorous it is it is you know either you are born to be a hotelier or you don't become a hotelier so my advice to the students when you come you know your dream to canada always expect an unexpected here in canada life is very, very you know not that easy but very easy the kind of money you make here the kind of um you know the the respect you get here as a hotelier back in india when you start i think what do you make about 15 20 25000 to initially start with here we value people in canada a smallest job is always appreciated we appreciate people here well the life here is completely completely different from what you have in india you know if you're leaving india please remember that you're not coming to an indian community here no matter how many indian people are living here we have almost more than about a million and a half to million people living in toronto mm-hmm. we have about a million people living in vancouver we have almost about half a million people living in alberta i'm talking about the indian community and out of that there are a lot of students who have actually moved in apparently last couple of years 5 6 years who have actually converted their student and i completely agree agree with jadeep on there when he said that it's easy to get a work permit as long as you're educated and education that's where we are bringing bccm here to do your one year course there and rest we will bring you to canada we have tie ups with a lot of uh, universities the university of laurier the university of waterloo i have just signed up a contract for bccm today morning in fact it was one of my pleasant days 
with Northwest Universities and McEwen Universities in Edmonton. We are almost working with Nate University to finally set up and contract with her so that we can get the hospitality students from India to get here. I can tell you more about the life in Canada, but I really want the students to come and feel. It is an it is a North America. It is a part of American world. When you say it's an American dream, it is actually a Canadian dream. And I would prefer to be in Canada than America. I have lived in seven different countries before this. I was in New York for about five years. And I spent about 27 years in England before I came to India. And I, you know, I worked a couple of years back in India as well. But that's what I want to tell you, kids, that, you know, when you come in with a mindset, keep a mindset open that you should be ready to do a job from scratch and not thinking that you would be a manager from a day one. But at BCCM, we are looking here to make you managers, good leaders, good entrepreneurs. I never knew 35 years in the industry that I will own 14 hotels in Canada. So it is something which is a dream for me and I'm living it. And I hope all you kids are you know, lucky enough to live this dream and sooner than you know, later. So all the best to the entire BCCN team and Deepak Jha, Jaydeep. I think it's one of the best initiatives you guys have taken and my best wishes to all of you. Thank you so much, Ashish sir, for your, sharing your experience with us. Next, I would like to invite Chef Rehman Muji, a celebrity chef and board of directors for BCCM, holding an experience of almost two decades apart from being a chef Rahman runs various restaurants located at Lucknow, Dubai, and Riyadh, and very soon launching Cloud Kitchen series in Mumbai under the banner of Ethios Group. Over to you, Chef. Hi, very good morning to everyone. So this is my first webinar to you people with BCCM. And it's really a pleasure for me to be a part of uh, BCCM. I would like to say to my audience, to the board of directors and the everyone, actually I was, uh, my aim was not to become a chef. Uh, when I came into this field, actually when I completed my 12th, I was uh, that time decided to go into the engineering and uh, some other field. At uh, that time, the especially the chef fraternity was not very much uh, you can say a glamorous field or so I was going you know, to a different field, but uh, accidentally I came into this hospitality field. And after five years, I realized when I visited to so many places, so many hotels, I have selected a very right field. And uh, right now, uh, the food and service is the spine of the hospitality industry. And it's very good opportunity for a chef to make their own name into industry. And uh, also you have very fast growing career in this culinary field to in a hospitality industry. And also good uh, to visit uh, so many countries, you will get a lot of opportunities, maximum opportunities for the chef. Very easy to chef uh, to travel from one place to the second place for a job prospect. And uh, very innovative, very challenging at the same time. And uh, Indian culinary is very much demanding nowadays. So it's uh, good for the students who are very enthusiastic. We keep doing interview for now various uh, institutes and all that right now everyone wants to become a chef girls are also very much attracting towards uh, kitchen so that is a very good sign for me for us for the industry uh, now our young blood it's very much attracting towards hospitality towards uh, kitchen towards fnb service and uh, it's really good for us, uh, for Indian uh, culinary to explore, to evolve yourself and uh, you can now uh, create a good name. Right now, I just started my career from the very beginning as a freelance chef. I did not assigned any hotel, any for any special group uh, to stay over there and do a permanent job. 
so my job was a freelancing and i was as a, i was as a roaming chef so right now i exist almost all the big hotel chains here in india and so many chains in abroad as well so my exposure my experience is quite different and that is a mix of uh, uh, things and uh, i really appreciate it to everyone ki this industry is very good and i would suggest everyone the uh, kids who are really interested to join uh, hospitality industry come and join us after corona that was a different phase right now it's complete and a flourishing industry day by day it's going up and there is a huge demand of indian professionals hospitality professionals and indian professionals so i would not take to your more time i would suggest to you to proceed further and for any question related to me just let me know please i keep watching each and every person very closely it's a good interaction for me please go ahead thank you okay thank you so much sir for sharing your experience now we have professor vani sri with us uh, we, we have two ladies leading ladies of bccm professor vani sri paste and major arti tiwari first i would like to talk about professor vani sri paste associate professor bccm professor vani sri is a hospitality educator research scholar and co author she comes with rich experience in hospitality industry as well as in academics she has been awarded as the best student mentor by gcu bangalore talking about major arti tiwari she is a certified soft skills master trainer nlp life coach a graphologist a counselor having more than a decade experience in soft skills training she is the director grooming skills and life skills at bccm over to you ma'am thank you tamanna good morning ladies and gentlemen it is exciting indeed to be part of this webinar session your key to unlock the canadian dream as a panelist i'll quickly share the course content what we will will be designing what we are offering at the ccm at british columbia college of management as mr arora has briefed we create the future at bccm we at bccm aim at overall development of our students hotel management is one of the trend changing industry in local and abroad a wide opportunity to earn talent as students bccm is formed by all hotel professionals our students will have better visibility and reach out to the potential recruiters as it is all formed by the uh, hotel professional itself all our board directors are the hotel professionals that's why we have a very uh, good visibility to reach out all the pro, uh, potential recruiters having said learning along cannot happen without earning both learning and earning are equally important but without balancing the value of each diminish one philosopher says the more you learn the more you earn so career development happens only with learning but by earning as well so we believe in that so we give an opportunity students who come and study with us have learn and earn concept merit scholarship reward meritorious students with financial support which help them realize their education dreams of achieving a fulfilling career the merit based scholarship evaluate a student merit on the basis of their academic records or their performance in scholarship test which we will be conducting at the time of the admissions so at at the bccm campus so it will be given to the students whoever will get a good merit at the time of the admission on the basis of that we will be giving them the scholarship our bccm programs include we have online registration for the aspiring candidates at the time of the admission it makes their study material easy we have an interactive study material which will cover all the specializations with video lessons and question and answers in our lms which is your learning management system wherein our students can um, go and you know study at their convenience and uh, about their specialization for their convenience we will be uh, going for the learning management systems very soon industry master class will help to gain knowledge about the new innovations and trend in hospitality industry for all our students 
we have a very good career counseling career counseling not only helps making our students a great personality but it it will help them to make themselves a more organized and a better people through various modern methods and also it helps them to gain a right skills and also our students focus which can truly reflect in our deeds and works so it also help all our students who are will be uh, studying at pccm we have a lifetime placement assessment for providing and connecting with the relevant industry and the placement partners our goal our objective at the, at british columbia college is to equip our students with the right mix of knowledge so we have designed a course keeping all this mind so that our students will get a right knowledge skill attitude essential to excel in the world of hospitality both locally and globally which will be delivered by the best in the class and we have all experienced professional well qualified professionals who have worked in the industry and with the academic experience our courses are blend with short term and the long term courses in diverse area of management we have an advanced diploma wherein uh, it is a 3 years advanced diploma first year we have a foundation course where a student will study in india with us at bccm he will finish his foundation course where all the basic knowledge will be imparted and second and third year the student will be finishing course at canada so again we are giving them the learn and earn concept wherein the student can learn as well as he can earn at, at the same time in Canada. Once the student will complete his uh, graduations, he has a great opportunity with the industry. Like destination marketing is one of the uh, very popular nowadays. Uh, students go to the different destination and they do the marketing. It is very popular nowadays that he can join. He can join hotel industry, tourism operations, tourism attractions. So any management skill oriented the students can opt as their career we have affiliated with the can pathway also is a agreement for the hospitality and tourism today we have the experts from the can pathway who will be talking in detail about the can pathways it helps it allows the graduates of this program to receive credit towards program at niagara college as well as other colleges and universities in canada around the world so this is how we create win win at british columbia college of management now i uh, invite major arthi to take over the course design thank you thank you professor vanishri so as uh, mr ashish arora said that this we are, we are looking forward to good leaders good entrepreneurs and uh, as professor vanishri said the more you learn the more you earn but how we need to develop our skills there was a very good study conducted in Harvard in 2011 and they did a survey with the top C CEOs and CEOs and they asked what are the skills required to be so successful. And the result which came out, the study was astounding. It was really surprising. 87% of the skills are soft skills, life skills, grooming skills required to be successful. So we are here to prep our students first with like body language, public speaking, CV writing, interview skills, and then as they move forward to make them good leaders, as Ashi sir said, leadership skills, conflict management, design thinking, negotiation skills, transaction analysis. Transaction analysis is not the money part. It is the art of communication, post training. These are the programs we will be teaching to our students so that they can go for the manager positions. Then for the junior level programs, administrative support, how to handle your anger, your how to make a positive assertive inquiry, how to be a part of effective meetings, emotional intelligence, very important to learn your, how to handle your own emotions, interpersonal skills, these all we are going to teach towards our students. Then personal productivity, how can I increase my own output, how can I enhance my own performance, a teamwork, very important, time management, stress management, first impression, very important, we are power dressing, how to dress, what to dress, when to dress, which color to avoid, which color to wear, as per your body type, we are going to teach all this to our students over this uh, whole curriculum and make them a proper professional. If you look for some more of the services, let's say a few other people are interested in sales. For them, I'll be teaching customer service, selling skills, selling sales techniques using neural linguistic programming techniques, interpersonal skills, and many more. So we are designing more programs as per the need of the time, as per the requirement of the students. That is all from my side. Uh, now, uh, audience, I want you to get ready for the happy time. So here we are going to ask a few questions. 
and in the chat box you write your answer you have to write three things so let's do play first finger first your name your email id your mobile number am i clear i repeat it name mobile number email id okay so let's see first question goes what is the capital of canada come on quick keep your fingers on the keyboard and just go for it there are good prizes okay and one grand prize will be also at the end of the session so come on yes yes put your name email number email id and mobile number otherwise how will you will claim your prize we need to connect with you right so please come on let's see who is the winner for this uh, prize you will be announcing it at the end of the session okay my next question is recently a new airline started in india what is the name of that airline quick again first finger name mobile number email id quick i repeat my question a recently a new airline has been launched in india what is the name of it go for it come on you yes we have prices. we have started getting the responses come on there is one more question coming up lot of prizes here lot of bonuses are here grand prize also is there please come on okay now the third uh, 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 you you have to tell them that just writing the prizes or their names or the correct answers is not going to be enough they need to put in their email id or their contact number else how are we going to contact her contact yes. them yeah. please don't forget so, to put your mobile number or email id otherwise we cannot connect with you we cannot give you your prizes please do mention your name and email id so should i proceed to what the last question just just wait but, okay come on we are waiting for the answers and there are people who have put in their uh, responses i i mean their names and uh, other details but they have not shared any response oh so we have What all sorts answers? of combinations yeah yeah would you want to uh, okay you can go further and we will contact them yes your name your email id mobile number come on along with the answer please yeah. don't forget to answer for the question we just need the answer your contact details and your email id please we will announce the name of the winners at the end of the session and uh, now we will uh, connect them connect with them okay. and we will connect with you yeah. so answers are there um now we can go to yeah we can go to the next question okay now if you heard me like uh, with some focus there was some data i mentioned about the importance of soft skills the percentage which was given by harvard university you have to tell more or less approximately uh, most uh, the answer which is most accurate or nearby will get the prize what is the percentage i mentioned what was the number what was the percentage i mentioned importance of soft skills in the research which was conducted by harvard university come on again name answer mobile number email id quick i've got the answers but i again don't have the the name or name of course i can see but uh, either the number or the email id is something that i'm not able to participants see. please just check that you have filled all the details or not come on you can make your weekend you are going to get such good prizes okay few more seconds and I, it could okay go on the closest will get the prize right yes yeah okay so now i'll uh, over to professor vanishri she will take it from here thank you major arti so now my questions to the audience are you all ready yes thumbs up those who are in the video thumbs up are you all ready for the next question uh, okay manishri uh, before you go ahead uh, uh, someone has requested arti to uh, repeat the question and arti repeat the question and then also tell the answer the last one yes please so in 2011 harvard university was conducting a study that soft skills are important but how to uh, do any calculation can we measure it so they conducted a study they wrote all the harvard uh, alumni who were ceo ceos top professionals but what do you think and there was a long parameters standards which they did 
that what are the skills required to be successful to reach on top. With the study came, the answer is 87% of the skills required are soft skills, grooming skills, life skills. Technical skill is 13%. So that is how the combination works. 87%. Okay, the closest we have got is 85. Okay, congratulations. Okay. Great. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So, yeah, you can take it forward. Okay, Manishri, please go ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, Major Arati. So, my next question to the audience is Are you all ready? Right? My next question is It's very simple. So, I believe in a simple uh, uh, life. So, the, my question is Name to international airlines. It's, it's very, very easy. Name to international airlines. So the, it has to be, uh, please put it in the chat box. Your answer, your mobile number and your email ID, please. Name to international airlines. So I hope we are getting the answer. Yeah, yeah, loads, loads of them. Oh, great. So uh, looks like, you know, it's very easy for the people to answer for my question. Good. So my next question uh, to the audience, this is the last uh, the uh, question, and I will be announcing the grand question after this. Stay with us. So the next question is: Name two tourist destination in India. Any tourist destination? Yes, we've got Goa, we've got Shimla. Oh, lovely! Okay, Uti. great. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. So. I hope uh, next we will move on to our grand prize question. Are you all ready for the grand prize question? Yeah? Okay, so our grand prize question is name two industry where BCCM students can get employed. I have just spoken uh, the, during my presentation. After completion, your graduation at BCCM. So, where and all the students can get employed. Name two industry where BCCM students can get employed. I hope you are getting uh, the answers. Whoever will answer the first will get the grand prize. So for that, you just have to give your contact details, email IDs, so that we will get in touch with you to hand over your grand prize. Yes, we've got loads of them, hotel great, industry, great. airlines. Uh, okay. That's wonderful. Congratulations, everyone, uh, to take part in this question and answer session. We will be having an open question session uh, that will be announced by Ms. Kamanna once we have the panelist uh, discussion in this session. Thank you. Over to you, Tamanna. Thank you so much, Professor Vanishri and Major Arti Tiwari. I hope you all are having a great fun. Okay, moving forward. Now, I would like to invite Ms. Harpreet Kaur, CAN Pathway founder. Talking about Ms. Harpreet Kaur, she's an experienced, registered Canadian immigration consultant and the founder of CAN Pathways Immigration Consultancy based in Calgary, Canada. She's an active member of the Immigration Consultant of Canada Regulatory Council and former healthcare professional with diverse international education and work experience. Over to you, Ms. Kaur. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for a wonderful introduction, Tamana. Um, it's a pleasure to be here, part of this uh, wonderful webinar hosted by BCCM. Uh, my name is Harpreet, and I'm a licensed uh, immigration professional based in Calgary, Canada. So we have a, a we provide all sort of immigration services to uh, worldwide uh, immigrants, including students, workers, permanent resident uh, programs. So uh, BCC is one of the excellent educational institution that we have that we work with from a long time. And uh, what we are doing here is we are trying to bring more students here to Canada and BCCM is helping us and we are also uh, partner with the with the college so that you know we can bring more successful students to Canada and they can have a you know beautiful wonder, wonderful life here. Um, I'm very happy to be a part of this wonderful team and uh, looking forward to help 
as many students as we can to reach their goal and be in Canada. Uh, thank you so much uh, for having us here today. Thank you so much, Ms. Kaur, for your lovely words. Thank you so much you. for sharing your experience with us. So next, I would like to invite Mr. Sham Pathak, Managing Partner, Can Pathways, a business development professional, experienced and well-rounded sales and marketing leader with a proven background in business management, client service, and relationship management for leading companies. Over to you, sir. Wow, Tamana, thank you so much. That was like, that was amazing introduction. So uh, first of all, thank you so much, BCCM team and all the directors for having us here. And uh, I'm very excited to say that uh, BCCM is, of course, the Pioneer Institute of uh, Management, providing you the best hospitality programs, the industry-oriented program. And we are here in Canada. Of course, sorry, I forgot to mention that I'm here in Calgary, Canada. And uh, not too far from Mr. Arora. Like, I mean, we're still in the same time zone. It's almost uh, 20 past midnight here. So uh, we are here. Uh, once you like, once you've done your uh, foundation part in BCCM, uh, we are here to help you find the right, uh, right upgrade and advancement of your program in Canada. So we have options all over Canada, different institutions, universities, uh, hospitality, business. And so like, I mean, once you complete your foundation, we'll come in, we'll guide you to choose the right program, right path to come to Canada. And not, not just like study, uh, because once you come to Canada, while you're studying, you can work part-time. And uh, after that, you have several ways to get permanently settled here. And I'm confident uh, because uh, myself being from hospitality, hospitality background, I've done my uh, hotel management degree. And of course, I worked in a hotel Taj in India and here I worked in Fairmont, Marriott. So uh, I think uh, having the same uh, background, I can help you, I can guide you to choose the right path, the right uh, career for you, for all of our students uh, there. And uh, yeah, like uh, throughout the throughout your journey, from a start, uh, getting the uh, education and your work permit to your permanent, permanent resident, uh, we are here to guide you through. So even today, whatever questions, I mean, our students they have, feel free. The, I mean, we are here, all yours, and uh, time to time, of course, uh, I will be coming to India personally to BCCM to help our students out there to give further guidance and, like, I mean, uh, to lighten up the path, like, uh, what they can achieve with BCCM and CAN Pathways. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. So thank you so much, Tamanna, and everyone again. So, uh, thank you so much, sir. Sham, we are going to keep you uh, there and open the session. Uh, for the audience to ask questions if they if they have definitely yeah sure i'm here all the yep okay so yeah. uh, i think uh, tamanna you could uh, ask the audience uh, to take over if they have any questions they should be asking sham right away Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Patra, for sharing your experience with us. So now there is an open session for all of you to ask any queries and doubts regarding the webinar. So you all are good to go. Yeah, just ask. Yeah, just unmute yourselves and you can ask your questions. Come on, guys. You should be excited. <laughs> There's There are a lot to ask about Canada, about your program, about your career. Don't be shy. Just like, do, let's go ahead. Okay, I think people are asking questions on the chat. So could you just read them out? Uh, no, as of now, I haven't got anything on the chat. So you can, you also have an option of posting your questions on the chat box and we will read it out to Sham. So anyone? Any question? Uh, okay, so we have a question here. Uh, please describe uh, the pathway uh, to Canada for further study. You don't have to restrict your questions to English. You can also Hindi may be hap kuch sakte ho. Definitely, guys. I think you know what? Uh, I mean, if you are comfortable, ho, to I can just go in Hindi. So whatever, like you guys prefer, whatever student our student wants. Shami, English should be okay. English should be good. All right, perfect. English, that is Hindi and English. Oh, Hindi. Okay, English. <laughs> okay. okay, I got it. Yeah. So, uh, the question, just to clarify the question, that what is the pathway to come to Canada, right? So, uh, 
I think the pathways to come to Canada is, uh, of course, we are here uh, with BCCM is education, a study, uh, a study visa. So the, how how it works is uh, we can opt for as you complete your foundation and uh, at BCCM, uh, you can choose either to advance uh, your diploma or degree to either one year in Canada or two year in, in Canada. And uh, regardless, you choose one or two year. The requirements will be of uh, and uh, basic requirements are English. So uh, you have to give IELTS examination, which is a uh, IELTS stand for, I'm sure you all know, but for who they don't know, it's, it stands for International English Language Testing System. It just uh, it gives you a band score against your exam uh, exam result, and there are certain uh, requirement which is uh, six band and above. Sometimes even uh, less depends on the type of program you're choosing. So number one is IELTS, and second, of course, you have to complete your successful foundation course at BCCM. If as long as you have this two uh, part taken care, the rest is pretty simple and basic stuff. So uh, that that's two things that you need in order to get a study apply for a study visa for Canada. And uh, further down the road, if you're choosing one year of uh, pro, uh, like if you're advancing to one year in Canada, then you'll be eligible to work one one year after completion of your study. And if you're using two year or more advancing in Canada, then you'll be eligible to receive three years or more work permit. Uh, what does that mean is uh, work permit is basically when you can work full time in Canada. So while you're studying, uh, you can you can still work part time, which is 20 hours uh, every week. And uh, of course, there's plenty of opportunity to work in, uh, in hospitality industry here. And uh, after completing your study, you get your work permit. And then there's several ways to get yourself pro like permanently settled in Canada. If you'd like to go back to India, of course, there's endless opportunity. Of course, you have advanced your uh, education already. You, can, you have uh, more, you have a basic international education in your, uh, on your resume. And you can, of course, land with the, uh, you know, uh, better jobs in India. And if you'd like to continue your life in Canada, I think Canada is the, one of the easiest uh, country out of all the developed country I mean, if I talk about Australia, New Zealand, USA, UK, Canada, Canada is far, uh, so far the best country to get settled and they easily give you permanent residency. It takes two to three years after, once you receive your work permit, you can get settled here permanently. And of course, life is uh, awesome here. I think few part, few, few things we, we missed. The best part, if I can highlight here, it's one of the safest country in the world, very peaceful on top of that best climate. Uh, and uh, as uh, for you, like once you come here, healthcare is free here. Government is taking care of it. Government, like uh, it's not private like India. Uh, anything happens to you, you don't have to worry about it at all because they're going to take, government is going to take care of your health and same with your family. And one of the biggest uh, and the major expense that we have back home in India, uh, in Canada, education system is free up to 16 years. So when you settle down here for your kids, uh, you don't have to worry about their education, their better future. On top of that, you can also support your family members, your parents, your brother, your ancestor. There's several pathways. So I think that's it for pathways right now. Uh, I'll leave some more room so you can guys, you guys can ask more questions. Yes, uh, Avani Kapoor, I guess that answers both your questions because you covered all of that in your uh, response, Sham. So we're going to the next question. Uh, will we live in a hostel or any dorm room uh, in Canada? How does it work? Perfect. So uh, great question. Of course, uh, see, we are all in hospitality industry. So the basic necessities, right? So uh, accommodation, uh, first of all, I would like to assure all the, our BCCM student that when you're coming to Canada, you don't have to worry at all about being getting settled down in Canada. We are here to provide you all the post landing services, like finding your accommodation, getting your bank accounts, every single thing, basic things that you need to get settled as a student. And uh, answering to your key question here is like, uh, what type of accommodation? Uh, so basically, you can get into a shared room, a hostel, 
where like uh, you can nowadays you can get easily get uh, as long as you're coming to one of the major cities like Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto, you have Indian different services for your food. And uh, you can easily live with a partner up with one or two students. And you can live in one bedroom apartment, two, bed, two bedroom apartment. Uh, if you guys have more questions like down the road, I can even break down the costing for you too. But uh, yeah, uh, it's super easy and we are here to help you. So thank you, Sham. There is another question for you. What difference, just a second, there are too many questions. What difference and uh, advantages, what are the differences and advantages between say directly applying to Canada and through BCCM? So uh, here we are focusing on uh, hospitality industry. So BCCM is already uh, giving a foundation in India. So uh, when you're applying for a Canadian visa, uh, First of all, we have to tie, tie ups with uh, pretty much all the universities, top universities and uh, colleges in Canada. And we have kind of a recommendation for BCCM. So uh, any student completing their foundation in B at BCCM, they will get special recommendation and direct admission in Canada. So that's number one advantage, studying at BCCM and coming to Canada. Second is BCCM is already giving a foundation in India to be successful in your course in India as long as in Canada. So uh, kind of you already have a background that you're, you're studying a foundation of hospitality and you're upgrading or advancing your education in Canada. So you you know a lot of visa refusals because of back home, uh, if we talk about st stats, a lot of visa rejection they come because uh, they don't have a pro they don't have relevant course selection in Canada, so they have basic twelfth or graduation and they're just choosing random courses in Canada. So visa officer uh, they don't like it, and uh, a lot of time they refuse the visa, saying that the course is not relevant. So uh, that being said, when we are already we are having a foundation course at BCCM, and then we are advancing our program in Canada, then we have a pathway already created that uh, we have a relevant course selected. And uh, like, of course, pioneer institutions like BCCM, when you're studying, then it helps you to uh, increase, like, of course, getting your visa. And when you have recommendation from college uh, because of being partnered with BCCM. So of course, these are the main advantages that you have along with so many that uh, maybe it'll be hard to cover all here. But I think I, I just try to mention the key factors. Yeah, if I may just come in for a, if I may just come in for a second. I was just uh, going to invite you, Jaydeep, sir. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I just I just would like to sum up what Sham said uh, in a in a in a very uh, crisp form. See, BCCM provides you what you call a seamless sort of a dream, and it allows you to go through all of this in a very seamless fashion. For example, when you're talking about a foundation course, and uh, you know, in the foundation course, besides the theoretical aspect, and also getting familiar with the latest trends in the industry and experiencing it on the shop floor, you as a student would be prepared for the IELTS program. We would actually have, you know, inputs for you regarding IELTS. We will prepare you so that, you know, you can get good scores by IELTS. As Major Aarti, uh, Major Aarti, by the way, is uh, from the Indian Army. She's a sharpshooter, by the way. Uh, she, she is almost as good as a sniper, <laughs> for what I heard. Anyway, so Major Aarti has got rich experience in the Indian Army and she's been a professional in, uh, you know, giving soft skills. Soft skills are extremely important when you go to a foreign culture in a foreign country because you need to know how to conduct yourself, how to carry yourself, etc., etc. You know, get familiar with all these aspects so that tomorrow when you go there, you're received well and you're able to, uh, you know, get uh, absorbed in a seamless fashion within the industry in the professional environment there. And that gives you a solid platform to then continue and work there and settle there. So these are the various things that uh, BCCM would bring to the table. Besides, of course, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great uh, platform to, you know, actually start your career. So that's all I had to say. Thank you, Jaydeep, sir. Uh, there are more questions for you, Shah. May I have it? May I ask a question? Isha? Yeah, may I ask yeah, a question? Yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate BCCM for organizing such a wonderful webinar. And my question here is for Dr. Ashish, as we all were listening to him, and uh, it was really you know, nice to know about his career and you know the way he has uh, 
forward in this industry in Canada. My question here is like, uh, being an industrialist, a hotelier in Canada, how far is this industry rewarding? I mean, what's the difference uh, in the industry in India and in Canada? Because as a student, if we plan to move to Canada for this particular industry, so how rewarding is this industry, especially the hospitality industry? And what's the major difference between, you know, hospitality industry in India and in Canada? My question is for Dr. Ashish, if he's available. Thank you. Yes, he is there. Hi, Isha. How are you? Thank you for asking this question. Fantastic question. Um, like Sham said and like Jerry Jerry said, I think uh, Sham touched most of the points. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you the question which you asked. Uh, hospitality industry in India and in Canada, see, it's in terms of rewarding. Obviously, when you talk about monetary funds, when you talk about monetary rewards, a kid who graduates from a hospitality school in India, what do you think that he makes in India? Probably about three hundred pounds, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars a month. And 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 I don't uh, blame Indian standards or Indian, uh, you know, the hospitality industry. Uh, it is the way the you are talking about one point five billion people in India and so many hospitality schools and so many students who wants to uh, get into hospitality. Like I said, BCCM is not just a hospitality school to create, you know, another stampede of hoteliers in India. We are trying to create a different bit of a niche product to get to different parts of the world. Canada is just one point of contingent and one point of contact where you're just trying to get a life in Canada. Like Sham said, you know, the life in Canada is pretty, pretty different. You know, the senior facilities, the children are being taken care of. The, the parents get about $500 every month to take care of, you know, each children. Am I right, Sean? Yep, 100%. You know, and, and, you know, the parenting becomes so easy, like the way Sean said. You know, when you graduate, when you get into a different ho hospitality colleges, what is your aspirations? You want to become managers, you want to become, you know, general managers, f &B managers and things. In Canada, when a kid starts here, and correct me, Sham, if I'm wrong, because you're into immigration business and you know how many kids come to this country, and as owners, how many people exploit them and how many people are, you know, looking at different part of the, you know, a scenario. Here in Canada, your basic salary starts at about $16 an hour, right. which, is, which is like, which is, you can imagine a guy who works in eight hours or 20 hours in a week as a student. And some days on a, on a day when there is a holidays and there are a month's break, they're allowed to work full time once they tell their university and they take permissions. Am I right, Sean? Yep, 100%. So, so you can imagine while he's studying, he's making <laughs> that kind of money, which he can't even make when he's making what, what he's going to start his career back in India. And when the second question to ask, answer, I'm just not touching the only monetary part. The quality of life, the way we treat people here, we treat them as families. We don't treat them as employees, you know, and, and it is, it is, we value people here. We don't shout, scream, yell at people if they make mistakes here. We, we handheld them. We tell them because we understand that, you know, they're not, they're not, they don't understand like, like Arti, Major Arti was saying that, you know, uh, you know, they are going to train students to understand and what Jadeep said right now, absolutely brilliant phrase he used that they're going to put that culture, the mindset in their mind when they move to Canada. When people come to Canada, when students come here, they will be working in hotels or different parts. Hospitality is not hotels. It is hospitals, it's hotels, it's cinemas. So there is a lot of things in Canada which, which is a completely different. And to answer your second question, Isha, which you asked me, that how, um, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm, if I'm, you, what was the question you asked me? How, how did the? I think you covered the both. I just asked, how is it different from Indian industry and how rewarding it is? I got, him, yeah. I got my answers, yeah. I guess. All right. I'm glad you got my point. And Sham, you can add it. You do the immigrations and everything. And, you know, since... Since, uh, you know, anything you have a point to add in. 
No, definitely, Mr. Ashish. Thank you so much for highlighting a few points that I was also going to highlight. That uh, the one of the major differences is the mindset in, of of the employer and of the like, and in the industry and also of the clientele in Canada. That's the huge difference you will see uh, comparing to Middle East, which is of course India, Dubai. Uh, here, when you come, the hospitality industry is completely different. They respect you. The biggest part. I yeah. I completely agree. I mean, we value people. We respect each other, whether it's age, no children. You know, we we value everything. Like I laugh with a lot of people here in Canada. First is women, second is children, third is the yeah. animals, and fourth are the men. <laughs> right. Yeah, the last party. No, ex exactly. Um, and. Myself, I worked in Indian uh, industry. Like uh, I, I worked in even Taj, and that time, back in 2010, Taj is one of the uh, best employer in uh, India. And even when I was being trained there, and I saw the empl uh, employees there, you work. You know, I mean, I respect. Of course, I respect. I'm not saying anything negative about it. But the major difference you see, like you work there, 14-hour shift, 16-hour shift on a salary basis you come here you still expect to be uh, to be a hard worker but here you get rewarded for what you work now if and i don't pay them overtime and bonus i'm going to be behind bars tomorrow i'm going to get a call from service canada right that that's that's the that's the main thing that uh, your uh, your time is valued because uh, i think uh, I would like um, Mr. Shish, you like you having multiple hotels and like, of course, dealerships too. So code of conduct and like uh, is pretty much same for every single in the industry here. Absolutely. And the pay is pretty good. The lifestyle is pretty good. Uh, if I say uh, when I was in India, I got, uh, if, I, if, if I would start my career, as Mr. Mr. Shish said, maybe if I get a management trainee position, I'll start with 20, 25,000 rupees. And if I, if I go to a met metropolitan like Delhi or Mumbai, uh, I may have to get some money from, uh, I mean, for first few years, hospitality in the industry, uh, it's very rewarding in India too. But here, the, I'm answering the question, the difference. So here, if you're working in the hospitality industry, you still uh, half of your income, you can still, uh, you can save. Basically. You know, and the very valid point what Sean touched was that you get a two years work permit bare minimum and which, you know, and then three years work permit. And when you're working full time, my boys here at the front desk, you know, in a captive, to be a submissive um, number, they make between three and a half, four thousand dollars every month. That's an average what they make after tax. So you can imagine a guy who's 22 years who's graduated. I have a lot of students who are working with me for the last two, three years now. And we help them out to get their letters, the PRs, and, you know, a lot of things which go on. And it's not only me as an employer or because I'm on the board of directors of the BCCM. It is all employers in Canada. You know, and we value people and how, how people come and help us with it. And we, we're there to look after them. So this life is a complete different life, what you live in India. It's just... It's just a complete contrast. True. And uh, I, th I think the best part is like everyone is uh, very, very friendly here. Y yeah, you know, yeah. no one treats you like, I mean, you are, even if, uh, in India, the challenging part is just a few years. Uh, and the, for the, in the beginning, when you're starting your career in hospitality, you may or not, you may not on that level, especially if in service or front desk. It takes some time to get to the level where you start, people start, looking at you with some respect that, okay, he's a manager in, hotel, manager in hotel, but in Canada, right from the day one, even if you're a trainee, you get the same respect. I'm not, whether it's a director of the hotel uh, or like, I mean, you know, executive chef, they all treat you like full respect. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's a huge difference. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm, I think I would like to touch one more point here. When you're coming here to study, the study curriculum is uh, designed in such a way that uh, it helps you to work and earn and enjoy your life because in canada the they take the mental health very seriously the government they want to have work uh, life ba balance so you're allowed to work certain hours uh, then uh, you can still work for more than uh, 20 hours more than 40 hours but you still have your days off and uh, like uh, you get paid if you're working on holidays stuff like this and uh, you have like i mean you study two to three days in a week here and you can work uh the rest and of I the also time i want to touch that big point sham when all the entire world was shut down when especially india was shut down 
we in canada yeah. we were running our hotels and businesses you know because of government giving us so much weight so much of support we got from them we were able to take care of you know so yeah. much so many all of all these all the people got about 2000 2500 if i'm not mistaken from the government yep. sitting at yeah. their houses you know and home. people who were on the work permits people who were on the pr pr or things the government helped us as business owners we our utility bills were cut down we were not supposed to pay our taxes our tourism levy yeah. taxes was cut down there was so much of you know aids we got from the government so there was there was a, so much of difference of you know back in india and i understand india is india has such de- de- you know it's like a 1.5 billion people with so many hotels so many things they can't support everybody but in canada i mean the life is completely different and the way we su- get support from government is completely completely it's it's a, it's it's breathtaking yeah adding to mr ashish point like what they did in the uh, pandemic is uh, when the pandemic hit the industry was shut down you just have to go online do a few clicks uh, and uh, put your information next thing for next 6 months you are getting 2000 dollar a month regardless of the situation they your gonna... bank account yeah, absolutely exactly. next week next day and later on they're going to find out whether you are eligible you are eligible or not or not but at that point all they need all they were worried about is having is you how you going to survive to survive exactly no so student then no student went back no student had to you know be hungry no student had to be uh, you know with their tuition fees were all cut down there were there was so much of support which happened from the government yep Yeah, as I said, like I think if we we'll start discussing the differences, it'll be huge. Yeah, it's going to be. Now, we have a long list to go for. <laughs> yeah, but I think we have. But I, I, if I may just come in for a second, I think you're basically talking about two scenarios. One is possibly earning twenty five thousand here, and a minimum of about two thousand eight hundred to three thousand dollars there. Absolutely. So you compare about. Absolutely. So you compare twenty five thousand dollar, twenty five thousand with uh, you know three thousand dollars a month, and, and you know the difference. yeah absolutely but and also jerry it's not like 225 understand uh, you know you ha- you have expenses in canada too but your living expense to your food expense like sham said if we break down the money part your still expense would be about 1500 dollars a month and you still will have about 1500 dollars sitting in your bank account correct and in Easy. that 1500 yeah. in that 1500 dollars you will still have a great life you'll have an apartment paid off you will also have a car you'll have also your you know food paid off you will still have everything so it's not it's not the quality of life the quantity of life it's also the value of life so that's that's the three big differences between what what we're talking about so sham we have one last question coming up for you either of you can take it uh, will we get a scholarship in a canadian college sham you want 100%. to take it yes uh, definitely mr ashish if you want to add something go ahead please yeah sure i will So yeah, basically, it's a uh, uh, scholarships are available, and uh, there's a basically international student scholarship, uh, academic excellence, which is basically if you have done well back home, uh, then uh, there's scholarship on behalf uh, uh, on basis of your academic excellence back home, and also if you have outstanding language skills, like. if you score certain band which is above 80% in your ielts which is close to 7.5 to 8 bands you you also get certain scholarships so yes there are plenty and go ahead mr ashish no, if i may just if i may just come in for a second if i may just come in for a second sham you know the the question i would like to answer in a different way i think you're looking at funding for a course in canada when you're looking at funding for a course in canada one way obviously is to you know go in for a scholarship and that would reduce your tuition fees but the other way of doing it is you know not only what uh, uh, you know dr ashish arora and sham have already mentioned earlier you can work while you're there the third and the most interesting thing that bccm brings to the table is funding a lot of students come from the middle classes right and uh, during my time and my tenure uh, you know we consciously put these thoughts of going abroad and studying out of the window because you know we are middle class and we said yeah you know our parents can't afford this kind of money today education loans have become uh, you know very very easy and bccm uh, what it's doing is we we've, we've partnered with hdfc and with lnt finance and uh, we are in a position to offer education loans uh, these loans are available without collateral right so your parents don't have to uh, you know put up a house for sale and mortgage anything so you know we are in a position to offer you this and uh, once you are there you know the, the kind of money that you make you can easily settle these loans uh, you know in a span of about year and a half two years so uh, you know it won't be a load on the family 
Absolutely. I hope I've answered that question. Absolutely, Jadeep. You're spot on. I was wanting to, you know, absolutely spot on. Yep. I'll give you my example. Uh, I took $35,000 of loan. I took two years of education in Canada. Bank I, uh, bank gave me seven years to repay it from India. And uh, in, th- in three years, it was paid off. So yeah. It's, yeah. it all depends on you, how fast you'd like to repay it. And once you repay your loan, enjoy your life here too. So yeah, and uh, with BCCM, and uh, of course, we are here at Camp Pathways to help you. Uh, custom, like, you know, basically uh, design and find the right course. Let's say, if you would like to go and, and you know, uh, save some money on college side, program fee side. So like India, if you go to study Mumbai or Delhi, uh, of course, the fee is a little bit higher because of the metropolitan. Same thing in Canada. Uh, if you would like to give up, not, not going to Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, and just go a little bit of uh, maybe 100 kilometers away from the cities, you can easily save uh, 25 yeah. to 30 percent on your tuition. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Canada Canada is not only about towns and cities and Toronto and Vancouver. Canada is Canada. Canada, you know, a small town like Slave Lake has not, you know, Northern Stars College. People study there. People live there. People stay there for two years, three years, finish their course. By the time they get out of that place, they have about thirty thousand dollars in their pocket and they're out. So it's 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 not about it's not about uh, just just the metropolitans like India that you know Delhi, Bombay. I mean, I'm not criticizing India. I'm not saying that I'm, you know, I've I've grow I I you know I may just have lived about born there about two years and moved out of country. You know, I lived different parts of the world. But but what I'm trying to say is Canada is not a it's not a living dream. It's it's a reality. When you come here, you will realize that, you know, when you say it's Canadian dreams, it's not dreams, it's reality. It's just the way you get here. And the step to get there is BCCM. So BCCM is the road to the Canadian, your Canadian dreams. But for me, it's a Canadian reality. So when once you step into BCCM, you would understand what exactly we were talking about in the seminar. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Patrick, Mr. Aurora. It was so nice. Everybody, I guess uh, now you all are clear with your doubts and queries. Okay. So it's such an honor for me to get the opportunity to thank you all dignitaries. On behalf of the BCCM team, I would like to express my gratitude to all esteemed delegates of the webinar for their presence and contribution to make this webinar a great, great success. Having said that, I would like to thank all the management team, the supporting staff, and all the participants who have participated very actively. Thank you, everyone, once again, for making this webinar a great victory. Thank you. So uh, before we all leave, it's time to switch your cameras on, and we go in for a group picture with happy smiles. So everyone, please uh, put your cameras on. And let's see that beautiful smile. Yeah, uh, Arti, Redmi, Shivam, Ramesh, Sarfras. Uh, just one second, if I might just interrupt, Deepa. Uh, this is just for the other participants who are in. Uh, in in case somebody wants to reach out to us, uh, the easiest thing to do is to visit our website. It is bccm.in, right? And you can contact us through the website. You've got admission forms, you've got registration forms, you've got contact us, you've got all kinds of details there. Just feel free to reach out to us and somebody from here will be in touch with you, right, to take this forward. So wishing you all the best. Thank you so much. So yeah, I'm going to uh, click a group photo. Uh, Cheese, say cheese, say paneer, whatever you want to. Uh, Bring that smile on your face. Uh, One, two, three, um, there we go. Yeah, it's for uh, screen two. Uh, could you all put your uh, cameras on, please? Okay, thank the you. Camera is on, but I am not. Yes. Thank you so much. So, yeah, that brings us to the end of this session. And thank you so much. Ed. Thank you. Thank you, Jadeep. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, everyone.